A few weeks ago, I told you you have to cancel everything you had planned for Christmas because Dark Table 5.4 will be released. That was a big mistake because you need to cancel everything starting right now. That's because you need to install my SAM2 plugin for AI masking with Darktable. Over the past few weeks, I've posted videos showing what the plugin can do, but this week I will show you how to install it on Linux. If you are on Windows, the installation steps are already on GitHub, but I will post a dedicated installation video next week. So if you are on Linux and want to do AI masking with Darktable, stick around. Before we start, I just want to say that this project is still in alpha. So I've tested everything on my computer and on VMs, and it was working perfectly. But I'm sure I made mistakes, so it might not work on your computer. Also, it's not easy to install because most of the setup has to be done in the terminal. So I'm working on an installation script, but as of right now, you need to be a nerd to install that software. So I guarantee that some people will try to install it, and it will fail. But if you can handle the risk, stick around. Okay, so to install SAM2, we will use this Linux Mint virtual machine. And we will do almost everything inside the terminal. So the first step is to install the dependencies. Next, you need to copy my SAM2 Git repository. To do so, you can copy the URL. So I will put the link in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. Then you type git clone and the link. So as you can see, we now have a folder named sam2-tools and that's where all the files we need are. So next I need to move these files to the opt directory. Next we can do cd and go to our opt directory and then in the SAM2 folder. Now we need to create the Python environment. So to do so, you need to type Python. Next, you type source vn forward slash bin activate. So right now I'm using the fish shell, so I will use uh, the dot fish. But uh, if you are using the bash shell, then you don't need this and you can only enter this command. So again, only enter this command if you're running bash, but in my case, I'm running the fish shell. So I will do that. And now we are inside our virtual environment. So now it's time to install the Python dependency. So to do so, I type pip. So if I start this command, the pip package manager will install all the package that are listed in the requirement.txt. So if I do cat requirement.txt, you can see that I'm asking it to install uh, the SAM2 model from the Facebook research Git repository, as well as some other dependencies. So the installation will take some time, so I will speed things up and uh, Get back to you when everything is installed. Okay, so the installation is completed. So on this virtual machine, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it took approximately 15 minutes. So you need to be very patient. So especially at the beginning of the installation, so it will look like uh, everything has freeze, but uh, trust me, it's still working in the background. So now that everything is installed, you need to type this command. So this will generate the configuration folder and the configuration file that the application needs to run properly. So as you can see, the configuration file is inside my .config forward slash sam2. And that's also where we need to place the model. So to download the model, I will put the link in the video description, but it's also in my GitHub. So if you click there, uh, there you will have links to download all the models. So for this example, we will only download the large model. So as I just said, we have to put it inside the configuration folder. So, so for me, it's in my home directory. Uh, I need to show all the hidden files. So it's under .config. 
SAM2 checkpoints. So you have to download and put all the models there, otherwise the application won't know where to find the models. For this example, I will only install the large model, but if you want to try, you can install them all and decide what works best for you. So now the model is downloaded. We can confirm that by typing uh, ls. So as you can see right now, we have the model inside our uh, configuration folder. And now we can say the application is installed. So you can confirm that by typing Python and voila. So as you can see, I made a small graphical interface. So the goal is not to use this application as a graphical interface. So I, I only want to use it uh, with Darktable. But uh, if you wish, uh, it's usable. So you can select your picture, select your output directory, uh, select the model you want, the type of mask you want to generate and all that. So when you press run, um, you will be able to generate a mask outside of Darktable. So uh, it will be like a standalone application. But uh, because we are a Darktable user, now we have a few steps, a few additional steps to do to make it work with Darktable. So now we can close this. Next, we need to type sudo nano. You can use vim if you prefer. Sorry, I made a mistake. So I need to call it sam2tools. Now you can copy the script from my GitHub. I will also put it inside the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. So I'm copying this and then I place it there. So basically we are creating a bash script. So when we will run this script, uh, it will run our Python application. So to exit Nano, you need to click on Control X and then you press Y, then enter and that's it. Next, you have to make the script executable. So to do so, you type sudo schmud and that's it. So now if you run sam2-tools, we will see we will have our graphical interface and voila. So again, this application is fully operational. So if let's say I select a picture, whoops, sorry. Let's say I select point. So as you can see, I'm able to create a sky mask. So if you want, you can use this application uh, standalone, uh, but our main goal is to use it with Darktable. So to do so, you need to open Darktable. So I will assume the Lua script module is already installed on your Darktable installation. So if it's not, I will put a link somewhere to my uh, Enfuse sample video. So in that video, I explain uh, how you can install it. Next, you need to copy the link to my Darktable uh, script repository. Then you go to install update script, you type the link, you put a folder name, and you press install. So now if you go back to start and stop script, you will have uh, the folder you created and we'll, you will have all my scripts. Now you need to enable SAM2. So once enabled, the plugin will show up in the darkroom. So if I start with this picture, you can see on the side panel that I have my SAM2 module. So the first step we have to do is to select where the executable is. So in our case, it was inside a user, local, bin, SAM2 tools. Then when selected, you click on save and that's it. So now let's see if it's working. So uh, let's say I select uh, points, uh, one mask, uh, everything looks fine. So if I click generate mask, 
So it doesn't look like it's working. So uh, I will just try to restart Darktable. And that's it. So if you have the same issue, just uh, try to restart Darktable. So because I've selected point, I can now click on the object I want to mask. And if the mask is not to your liking, you can add points. You can also right click to uh, add uh, negative points. So when the mask is fine for you, you press enter. Then you can open the raster mask module and select your mask. It will be in the same folder as the original image. And that's it. So now you can use this mask with any module. So for example, if I open the exposure module, if I click right there on raster mask, I'm able to select external raster mask. And as you can see, I now have my mask for the bird. So if you manage to install it, let me know in the comments. Also help me answer questions from people who couldn't install it. So that's it for me. See you next time.